Hello, welcome to Tech Dive. Today we're going to be doing a Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial about how to edit with 4K video. Really specifically more about how to edit where uh, your video files are really too heavy for your computer and you start getting stuttering and uh, you start having some lag in the preview window and you need it to get smooth again. So uh, with Movie Studio 16 Platinum, something interesting that's different than Pro is it'll actually actually automatically create proxies as soon as you drag it in. So whenever I've, I've noticed whenever I drag in a video into uh, Pro, it doesn't automatically create a video proxy. But when I do that for Movie Studios, it does automatically create a video proxy. And I canceled it for the sake of this video. Uh, so if you ever end up canceling your video proxy and decide you need one, I'll show you how to make one. But first, your video proxy is used when you go to draft or preview. Then it decomposes the footage a little bit. It makes it easier to play through. However, if you haven't created your video proxy yet, it might actually make it more stuttery. So if you go to right click and then hit create video proxy, hit OK, and then uh, a loading bar down here will happen where you're creating your video proxy. Um, the only problem with this is it does take a little bit of time. One thing I would recommend you do is when you pull all your sources in, just pull them all in at once and then give your computer some time. I usually go grab a snack or something uh, as I'm letting, uh, if I'm using Movie Studios and I'm letting it build proxies, I always let it build the proxies unless I'm in a tremendous hurry and I don't need them for whatever reason. But usually I just let it build out the proxies. It doesn't take too long. Uh, just, just pretend you're rendering. Let it do something and then come back to it. That's normal. It will really increase the performance of your Movie Studios session. So if you're hitting cancel there all the time, that's not good. Uh, one thing you can do is you can also go to insert, I'm sorry, not insert, you can go to options, preferences, and then go to video. And here you can up the amount of RAM available for your display. Now I've done this in my pro version, I'm going to do it in my movie studio versions now. Uh, I'm only going to up it about 50 because I know that that's a good number for my computer and uh, it's not like it's not as intuitive as you think it would be. You can't just max out your RAM with it, because uh, because Vegas is using parts of the RAM. Your operating system, like Windows, is using part of your RAM. Uh, so you can't just willy nilly grab all the RAM that you want. And they actually suggest that when you change it, that you make sure that you're changing it in a way like very small so if you change it to like 400 if you doubled it you might actually start having crashing issues so something I'd recommend doing is seeing how it works with your build I usually would only go up 10 20 30 at a time I know 250 works pretty well uh, for my build and for everything going on with my computer uh, if you have a computer that's that's um, just lower than mid-tier like if you have like a i3 or less or or really something that's only four cores and no graphics acceleration or less than that you're gonna have trouble editing high def video just in general like don't blame any of your editing softwares that's just the computer itself isn't really built for that uh... With gpu acceleration though, something that can really help so if you do have gpu acceleration this is where you can turn it on that helpfulness so then i have an amd card advanced micro devices i have a rx 580 in this machine and it's uh, I can select that so now I can up up the RAM available for the preview window and I have selected advanced micro devices I have turned on GPU acceleration make sure to hit apply it is gonna warn me that you can't take too much RAM up here but I've given you that warning and then you hit OK and then uh, you gotta shut down the application for it to take effect so uh, when you hit alright again it hasn't actually taken effect. You'll have to close the application and open it back up. But doing these things like letting it build the video proxy, uh, going down and choosing draft once it's built a video proxy, and making sure that you're utilizing a GPU acceleration and maybe a little bit more RAM if you have 8 gigs or more in your computer uh, and you have some more space, uh, some more RAM you actually have room to take, uh, then I would highly suggest doing those things. 
and that should help improve and, and reduce lag of your high def video footage while you're editing. Uh, anytime you have a whole, whole, whole bunch of edits, though, something I didn't mention on a pro tutorial. I have mentioned this before, but uh, not in that specific tutorial. You can create, drag, click and drag a loop region. So if you have like a thousand cuts in here and you just want to be able to see that cut nice and clean and it's having to render all those cuts live, you can right click and then um, selectively pre-render and it'll temporarily give a little short render and let you see what that's going to look like. It'll give you a new preview of that. And anytime you do an edit, it ruins that pre-render. So it's just a temporary thing, but it will let you see something more in real time uh, when you have like a hundred thousand edits and effects layering and you really can't see uh, the complicated thing you're doing in real time anymore because you're just doing something that's so thick that it can't respond. So that's uh, those are my tips and tricks about uh, a laggy preview window and how to resolve it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm doing this full time now, so if you want to help me out with Patreon, it'd be awesome. But if you don't, that's totally fine too. Subscribe if you're looking for more. I'm going to have a ton more coming out. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to get regular, but at least a couple a week. Um, but probably even more than that as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.